Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The smuggling of arms, ammunition, bombs, drugs and other supplies have become a very frequent affair. The number of such incidents have seen steep rise in last one year. This year itself close to 60 drone sighting has been reported and many more goes unreported. The drones are becoming the new face of terror and a tool used by Pakistan to continue its supplies to terrorists as Indian Army is hitting hard on infiltration bits across LOC. Even Naxals have started using the drones. BSF, which is our first line of defense across the border, is now looking to procure an anti-drone system to counter the new emerging threat. Last year, BSF has also procured some numbers of DIDO's anti-drone system. However, this requirement is going to be different as it's not possible entirely cover the border with an anti-drone system. BSF is looking for an anti-drone gun with soft kill capabilities. By soft kill, it means to disconnect the communication link between drones and its ground control station after which drone is rendered useless and falls to the ground. As the drones fly at an altitude normally higher than the firing range of an assault rifle, it's nearly impossible to shoot them down. Therefore, BSF is now looking for a handheld gun that can be easily transported and handled and operated in day and night conditions. It should be easy to deploy, lightweight and can be operated by one hand. The system should be able to cut off communication between drone and remote controller by jamming radio frequency and GPS signal. It should be able to neutralize drones flying at an altitude of 2500 meters within 10 seconds of detection. Last year, Indian Navy had procured an unspecified number of Smash 2000 Plus system, which are already in use by Israeli and American special forces apart from some other countries. The Army and the Border Security Forces were also evaluating it for anti-drone operation. The system features a built-in targeting algorithm that can track and hit multiple targets at first shot, including drones. This smart shooter has developed technologies to convert an assault rifle itself into smart weapons using New Age Fire Control System. It is also looking to set up a manufacturing plant in India eyeing more contracts besides the one it is already bagged from the Indian Navy. While Smart Shooter currently does all research, marketing and production from its facility in Israel, the firm is looking at the possibility of making the system in other locations and India is one of the options. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.